At the same time, we had to do a fun story and we had to put it here in the show. People here may know uh, my obsession with the UK royals. Well, there has been a major discussion um, in the UK and I guess actually here in the US too as to where Kate Middleton is. Um, and the this all comes after Kate Middleton, it appears, um, had gone undergone surgery. Nobody knows what's for. She hadn't been seen in public. There were some leaked paparazzi images uh, that showed her in a car where there was some speculation as to whether they were even real or not. And so Kensington Palace, uh, released actually a photo of Kate Middleton with her three children. But a very interesting saga has since unfolded because the photo was meant to quell speculation as to her well-being and exactly what was going on with her. But the photo now has been revealed to have been pretty heavily photo edited. Let's put this up there on the screen. Just yesterday, uh, the royal correspondents out of the UK were noting that at least three international picture agencies, including the AP, the AFP, and Reuters, have refused to distribute the photo that was released by Kate Middleton and her children saying that the quote, the source has been manipulating the image. Let's go to the next part because it actually shows the specific problems. There were some major Photoshop errors in the mirror behind um, one of her son's head in mm -hmm. terms of the blending between the uh, this red sweater there, pattern matching that happened there on the left, and then also weird things going on with uh, the finger that was crossed in the photo. Now, this is not the most important news, Crystal, but for some reason, this has reached escape velocity online. Right. as to what is going on with this lady. Is she okay? There have been all kinds of jokes and all of this. So this really could not be uh, a worse possible situation. We have an update actually from Kate Middleton, if we can put it up there, please, on the screen, uh, in which she says, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. Mm -hmm. I want to share my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. For those wondering, they have a different Mother's Day in the UK, no idea why. So that's what it is, Crystal. They release an image. People very quickly online are like, this is horribly edited. And then every major uh, photo wire from Getty, AP, AFP, Reuters immediately puts a kill button on the image and just vastly explodes a lot of the conspiracy yes. as to what's going on with Kate. So she had this surgery, she like had surgery. a month ago. Yes. And she has not that. been seen in public. Uh, well, allegedly in a paparazzi photo, although the uh, royal influencers, some say that it's a fake photo. I don't know. If it's oh, yeah. okay. And so, I mean, to me, if you're going to put out the statement like, oh, gee, mm -hmm. sorry, guys, I sort of screwed up the editing on this photo. Why don't you release like the real photo yeah, without the editing? Question. And then we could all be like, oh, she's fine. Well, this is gets to a bigger <laughs> problem that I keep. So, for example, King Charles announced that he has cancer, but he won't tell anybody what kind of cancer he has. Mm. And now here, it's like, guys, you're the royal fan. First of all, you're an outdated institution. You're lucky that you still survive. Also, all of your income comes from the public in terms of, like, appropriated from parliament. It's complicated in terms of, like, the ownership and how exactly they derive their income and all that. But ostensibly, the only reason they're still around is that they're the heads of state and they're the figureheads. And right. They're controlled by the state. Right. It's like, well, why exactly then are do you claim the same like right to privacy as any uh, as any like average Joe who's on the street? You guys are like basically living a billionaire lifestyle. Yeah. Genuine kings and queens, not even metaphorical kings right. and queens. Right. And we don't know anything about your health or about anything that's going on there. Right. Well, and uh, you're the royal expert, yes. not me. But my understanding is Kate was really looking for this life. Well, like she was. This is very. She was. Oh, okay. So I'm touching on um, something that's. Touchy? It, it depends who you ask. Okay. If, if people were to watch the latest she season of The Crown, knew, she certainly you would knew think what that, she was getting into. That 100% she knew what she was getting into. Okay, <laughs> so like, let's let's just put it this way. From the very early days of their relationship, she knew exactly what she was getting into. From the tabloids, et cetera, they've had their own wars. Kate Middleton has her sister too, <laughs> in terms of the tabloids, et cetera. The real, I think, just like shock factor here is like you said, she still didn't release the unedited photo. Right. And she didn't get or any, any other update photo. as to her condition. Right. And there was also some sketchy stuff where Prince William actually canceled an engagement last minute and he was like, we no, gave no explanation. And people were like, well, what's going on here? Like, what is happening? So yeah, so you've got the king who's undergoing cancer treatment. And we don't know his prognosis. We don't know whether he's sick or not, what kind of cancer, what treatment he's undergoing. Now we've got the princess who had this crazy, some like mysterious surgery and she hasn't been seen in public. They have no events on the calendar in the future. It just, for me, it comes back to, and actually what's funny too, is a lot of this discourse is US-based because the Brits 
abide by all of these censorious laws. Oh, for So, real? for example, the paparazzi photo I'm talking about yeah. was leaked to TMZ. It was not published in the British press because they want to respect the privacy mm. of the royals. To which I say, guys, are you a real country or not? Like, come on, <laughs> if you're listening to the king or queen, they're afraid of uh, recreating a Princess Diana thing because they still feel guilty for, they think they're the responsible for her The paparazzi chasing her exactly. and then she's exactly. her dying right. in that horrible car crash. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, in general, I don't really care about these people or what they're up to, but you can't help but resist, like, the, the good mystery yeah, and like, potential conspiracy conspiracy of whatever yeah. the hell is going on here. And so, obviously, she doesn't didn't answer any of the many questions that people have. And I'm also just perplexed by the incredible badness of the Photoshop or AI. Agree. Like, if you're the, the royal family and you're gonna put out a fake photo, like, at least get some experts. Thank put you. A real, we got the tech now. Yeah. That you could have done this and no one would have even noticed, right? But it was so sloppy and ham-handed. You're the princess of Wales. You're the future queen of England. You ain't got any photo. <laughs> can't we do have, in Photoshop? Come on, girl. We have three people on staff here. <laughs> Who could do a better job? Oh, absolutely, right? absolutely. <laughs> the youngest 100%. member of our staff. He could put that thing out. You'd have no problems, all right? No twisted <laughs> fingers, no pattern matching. <laughs> how, do, how is this even possible? It's, it is too crazy to believe that I actually do believe her story now at this point. Really? There's, you think I, she just did it? I mean, it's so terrible. It is like, really in bad. In terms of the, like, the thing with the sweater and all that. But man, she has no idea what she lit on fire. Like I said, there are, speaking of TikTok, which we previously talked about, mm -hmm. there, are whole, there are ladies out there whose entire careers on TikTok with millions of followers. It's just tracking every single one of these things. So congratulations to them because they all just got a lot more content. Amazing content for yes. them and for us too, apparently. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right. We're subscriber funded. We're building something new. We want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.